Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'd like to do something a little different here, and it's simply to go through a recent project. Actually, I did this a few months ago. It was a design commission for a large studio monitor. And so I'd like to just walk through the design in SolidWorks and show you uh, what we came up with. And let's get started. So you'll see here that this is a finished rendering of the studio monitor and it's a three-way design even though it looks like a two-way uh, six six foot person six foot tall person standing beside the monitor just to give you a, a sense of the scale and so what i'd like to do is just show you kind of the original scope project scope when i quoted the design project and so the customer initially approached me uh, looking for a studio monitor that was uh, based on the tad td2404 and so what that studio monitor looks like is, is here. So it's typically, um, you know, a large format, high SPL, low distortion. And so you can see it's using a, a TAD driver with the TAD um, horn there. And this is the, the uh, 4003 uh, radio horn. And so the customer wanted to emulate or have a project um, that he was going to build for himself personally that's inspired by this studio monitor which um, I'm not sure if it's available anymore um, but I'm sure you could the goal was to build something with equivalent performance um, so I, I have a quote that I've generated for the customer and you can see here um, I decided to use a JBL uh, 2265 G1 15 inch woofer and in conjunction with the the BNC DCX 464 compression driver and I'll talk a bit about each of those in a bit um, looking at the the overall size that we came up with you can see here that this is the overall size so it's a one meter uh, listening height and then the cabinet width is uh, 60 centimeters wide so it's a large large speaker um, now the original TAD was actually 66 centimeters wide and the customer decided that he that that was too large uh, for his listening space so we narrowed it up a bit um, looking at the overall design in solid works there's a few uh, interesting things about this monitor so it's actually using my es290 by radial horn instead of the uh, classic horn that's used in the the original tad monitor and so this is the first time that I've integrated the ES290 into an actual speaker cabinet. And you can see here the flare geometry comes around and then it just simply continues straight uh, down the sides of the cabinet. And so we have uh, zero sources of edge diffraction because the physical flare geometry is, is free from any um, abrupt changes in the, in the flare geometry. So, um, and then it's using the biradial with the radial features top and bottom so you can see here I modeled in the JBL driver with uh, four large 10 centimeter ports there to reduce port turbulence and so I just wanted to talk about my driver choice here so I'll just uh, explode this out again so you can um, see so the driver mounts into the cabinet you can see here there's a, a square opening in the cabinet and then the driver here is the, the recently released BNC DCX 464, which is a coaxial compression driver. It has both a high frequency and mid frequency diaphragm element inside. And then they merge to uh, exit out of the 1.4 inch diameter uh, throat into, into the ES290 by radial. And so it, and it looks like a two way, but it's actually a three way. And so for this quote, when I did the design commission, I included the crossover design. And so I require, uh, when you do crossover design, you actually need the drivers for acoustical and electrical measurement to develop the crossover design. Um, and so I had to do that here and measure the drivers here and come up with a crossover, which uh, represented probably about half of the, the overall labor involved in, the, in this project because of the the, there's just there is a lot um, to developing a crossover um, so the JBL um, 
6.5G-1 I featured in a few of my blog posts and I compared it against um, an equivalent mid-bass uh, driver that, that I had on hand and what I found with the JBL is that it does have very very low distortion um, and I believe that's by virtue of the the differential drive motor technology that JBL has and so you can see here when I did a direct comparison uh, against the the mid bass you can see the orange line is the intermodulation distortion on this driver and it's uh, almost 0.1 percent in the bass region at 80 hertz so um, it uh, crossover point was 400 hertz as you can see here that we're, we're crossing over just before distortion starts to rise but note that we're still extremely low at 0.5 percent distortion so you can see that compared to the RCF it's doing quite well even into the low bass um, for specification on this you can see here that the uh, requirements is that it was 16 ohm and so we're using 16 ohm drivers um, 750 watt power handling. The frequency response for this is the minus 10 dB down point is 35 hertz and then um, the minus uh, 3 dB down point is 40 hertz. So the base extension F3 on this is 40 hertz and then the maximum SPL is 126 dB. So extremely high SPL capability on this on this cabinet. Um, not noted here is the overall sensitivity at one watt and so this is uh, 97 dB uh, sensitivity at one watt so um, so yeah this uh, I quoted the design and then I provided detailed drawings and the crossover schematic um, I also provided you know the the resulting frequency response uh, from this setup so as part of the crossover development I was the last kind of leg in the development would be the subjective evaluation where you're uh, listening, playing all your, you know, your, your test tracks and songs and listening for um, the final stages, like that last 10% in the crossover design where you're tweaking that, that little bit just to perfect the crossover. And so once I had everything dialed in, um, the sound was very very low distortion as, as evidenced by the the measurements um, but also just from you know with with the the new compression driver from bnc it just has tremendous vocal clarity and with grand piano um, just extremely authoritative and able to present the art the you know a very realistic scale to to grand piano and uh, so the other thing too is that the the BNC is pretty much devoid of any kind of characteristic sound. Like when people refer to you know titanium diaphragms, they say it has a metallic sound that they they object to. So with this particular compression driver, the diaphragm's mylar, and so you're not going to get any kind of signature tonality to to the the driver as a result of the diaphragm material. So um, it's not often that you see a commercial um, high power compression driver not using titanium. So in this instance, it's very uh, warm uh, welcome to have a different material other than titanium. Um, so you're particularly for audiophile and uh, studio monitoring. So um, I can just go through and show some of the other renders um, of what this actually looks like. So the rear of the cabinet. This is a section view of the cabinet to show kind of the, the internals. The rear panel is removable and then it's by, by wire, by amped. Um, and then the, the crossover would be mounted internally. So the t entire cabinet is manufactured with uh, 24 millimeter thick Baltic birch plywood. You can kind of see here the flare geometry in the in the horizontal how it wraps around to the side in the front view this is actually with it at the 66 millimeter wide so it's a little we, we narrowed it up on on that looking at the drawings again what I provided the customer was a set of detailed assembly drawings um, as well as the uh, cabinet assembly instructions 
and then it goes into um, the manufacturer of each individual panel. So my customer actually decided to purchase a CNC machine and, and manufacture the horn himself. And so I, I'm supporting that and providing every, all, all the information that he needs, 3D CAD files and, uh, and you know, different things that he needs to machine this horn. So. So if this is a, a project that interests you or if you wanted another project that's similar, um, feel free to reach out to me and we can, can do a design commission um, and support you in providing an excellent studio monitor. Studio monitor. Take care and uh, have a great day.